Close your eyes, watch your breath, and watch your mind watching the breath. In other words, keep track of whether you're with the breath or someplace else. If you realize you've wandered off, again, just come right back. Wander off again, come right back again. Don't get upset with yourself, but just keep coming back, coming back. It's having a matter-of-fact attitude toward this that you actually develop the skill. You don't have to be angry at your defilements, but just realize these are things that can cause trouble for the mind and pull you away in directions you don't want to go. And they have no right to do that. You don't have to follow them. You can just come right back. If you can view them in a matter-of-fact way like this, then it's a lot easier to do what needs to be done. If you get upset and involved in the drama of why the mind isn't settling down, just say, well, let's, let's see what we can do right now, right now, right now. And in spite of the voices that may tell you otherwise, you can do this. This is why the Buddha encouraged Rahula before he started meditating. He said, make your mind like earth. Disgusting things are thrown in the earth, but the earth doesn't get disgusted. Because it's when your mind is like earth like that that you can be matter-of-fact about things and see things as they're actually happening and figure out why. If you get all tied up in the reactions, you can't figure anything out. All you can see are the, is the shredded pieces of thought that don't make any sense. And then you get tied up in trying to figure out making some sense out of them. Well, just shred the things, let it go, let it go. You want to be right here, right here, because this is where you're going to be able to see your mind clearly. So watch the breath and watch the mind watching the breath. And John Lee's images of a, of a pulley that goes back and forth. You check the breath, you check the mind, you check the breath, you check the mind, and you're trying to bring them closer and closer and closer together. So after a while, there's not much of a distance between the two. That's when you can settle down.